good morning everyone welcome back to us to learn how are you all i hope you all are fine so let's start the video so today i'm going to discuss about transitive and intransitive verb with examples so what are points we are going to discuss today how we can classify verb into transitive and intransitive what is transitive verb explained with structure and example what is intransitive verb explained with structure and example and lastly practice exercise so that you get well acquainted with this topic so please stay tuned till the end to understand this each and every point so first how we can classify the verb into transitive and intransitive depending on the condition whether it requires an object to express complete thought or not on that particular condition we are going to classify the verb into transitive intransitive clear so what is transitive verb here transitive means transfer of action to someone or something so a transitive verb requires object to express complete thought so this object will be receiving the action of the verb so that is transitive verb so the object can be noun or pronoun now see the structure here subject followed by transitive verb followed by object and object is very essential in transitive verb so subject means who does the action about whom we are speaking we have also we have already learned this in our previous videos also so transitive verb means the action done object means something that is receiving the action of the verb so examples of transitive verb i will reach station in few minutes see here the reach will be transitive verb how come because it is followed by the noun station and station is receiving the action of reaching similarly come to the second sentence we showed her the photo album now her is a pronoun that is followed by the verb showed okay so there is an object which is receiving the action of showing so that means it will be transitive verb similarly galileo invented the telescope now the in, uh, action of invention is been received by the object telescope so that that will be a transitive verb i hope you are clear with the examples you can pause the video and go through each of it next this is my s2cs channel where i will be discussing the computer science videos okay so you can visit the channel go through the videos and if you really like it please like share and subscribe the channel okay so again back to the our topic what is intransitive verb so intransitive verb doesn't require object that is the main difference between transitive and intransitive so no transfer of action to someone or something as it is complete in itself so what is structure of intransitive verb subject plus intransitive verb so there is no need of object here similarly you can go through subject and what is intransitive verb so what are examples it was raining at that time so here you can see that no object is followed by the verb raining similarly he is sleeping so no object has been mentioned here the water is running i couldn't write what i couldn't write is not been mentioned just i couldn't write so i hope you are clear with the transitive and intransitive verb examples now a practice exercise for you okay you have to state whether the underlined verbs are transitive or intransitive so you can post the answers in my comment box so just go on the following conditions whether it is followed by any object that is the verb is followed by any object whether it is receiving any action from the verb so that all things you will take care of while deciding transitive or intransitive verb i hope you are clear with this short video So thank you for watching and if you're a new viewer to the channel don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video i will be back with some interesting videos in future till then bye